So you want to learn how to make the best prompts, not a problem. To do this, you have to understand that all machine learning is basically just a pattern recognition system. The AI has looked at hundreds of millions of images and noticed that when certain words are used, images will share common attributes. And one of the most useful relationships that the AI has learned is the link between colors and subjects. For example, if you type in a digital painting of an adorable fire dragon with no other description, the machine will automatically automatically make the default color orange. And if we change this to a water dragon, then the machine will default to coloring it blue instead. Notice how we never described the color of the dragon at all, yet we get completely different colors by simply changing the subject. Which means if we type in a coffee dragon, even if I haven't described the color at all, it's fair to assume that the machine is going to color it brown, because that's the color of most coffee. And as we expected, the color is exactly as anticipated. But here is the cool part. If I add the words blue in front of coffee dragon, watch what happens. So we still have a dragon, and it still has coffee, and yes, it's blue. But did you catch anything else? Look at the face. You see that? The emotion and the expression of the dragon has also changed. It went from content and warm to somber, chill, sad, tired, or even depressed. And that's because most artists in the world know that the color blue is closely linked with these emotions. The same way that red is associated with fire. Blue is associated with sadness and being tired. Now, if you're one of those people who wants to believe that there are no relationships between color and meaning and that everything is socially constructed, that's fine, but the AI disagrees with you. Is there some tribe in the world somewhere that associates the color purple with water? Maybe, probably somewhere. But to that I would say, exceptions do not make the rule and are statistically irrelevant. The truth is, for the vast majority of all people on the planet, the sun was yellow, fire was orange and red, plants were green, the sky and the oceans were blue, day was light and night was black. And that has been true for most art since the dawn of humanity. And now the machine has also learned these relationships and can replicate them for you. Which means you as the prompt engineer can use this to your advantage to get what you want even if you don't describe it directly. Here's an example. I love making movie posters. That's my thing. I spend most of my dolly credits just making cool posters. Let's say I make an awesome poster of a samurai for a movie. And it's cool but I wanted the poster to be pink. Now most people would just add the word pink in, and honestly that would probably work. But another way we could do this would be to put something in the subject that is associated with the color pink. For example, a princess. After practicing with hundreds of searches, I have learned that Dali has associated princesses with the color pink. Which makes sense because most art on the internet of princesses is pink. So without adding the word pink at all, if we just change this from samurai to samurai princess, we should get get more pink in our image. And just as expected, that is exactly what we get. So if you took anything from this video, just remember that colors are related to subjects and emotions, and you can use these to control the outcome of your art. As always, hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.